Central America. In western Honduras lie the impressive ruins of the ancient Maya city of Copan. And though Copan's temples, pyramids, and monuments rank among the most important of any Mayan sites, researchers looking to explain the incredible achievements of the Maya have been drawn to a 72-step structure known as the hieroglyphic stairway. The hieroglyphic stairway at Copan was constructed in the early 700s AD with the intent of writing out the history of Copan at that time. And so it was designed as a public monument to the glory and success of all the kings from Yashkukmo all the way to the 13th one who commissioned it to be built. Carved into 1,200 stones in the massive monument, the ancient Maya symbols known as glyphs make up what historians believe is one of the oldest and most sophisticated systems of writing. But for centuries, the glyphs found throughout Mesoamerica were undecipherable. Then, in 1880, German librarian and anthropologist Ernst Forstmann cracked the code. Ernst Forstmann was a librarian at Dresden, and in his desk he kept one of the four Maya books, the Dresden Codex. He was a brilliant mathematician and extremely logical and had enormous insights. And at a time when we couldn't read a single Maya hieroglyph, he was able to figure out the Maya calligraphy. Maya hieroglyphic writing is very robust, and that's because it uses really two components. There are logographs. Logographs are really pictures that represent entire words. So Balam, for example, which is jaguar, could be written with just the head of a jaguar. On the other, we have these things that we call phonetic complements. And these are glyphs, they're images, that represent sounds. According to interpretations of the hieroglyphic stairway, the glyphs chronicle not only the history, but also the origin of the ancient Maya rulers. The hieroglyphs are really attached to the, what was important to royalty at the time, and that was lineage and the genealogies of the kings. They went out of their way to demonstrate how they were connected to their ancestors and the gods of their ancestors to establish their right to rule. This is a picture I took of, the, uh, of a close-up of a sculpture of Washak Lajun Uba Ka'wil, the 13th ruler of Copan. And he's depicted here on the front in all of his finery. And then the sculptor put a hieroglyphic passage on the side. We don't think commoners could read, but all the elites could and the king could. So he or another elite individual could come here and impress people by saying this demonstrates the semi-divinity of our king and his power to intercede between us and the heavens. But just what was the real source of power and authority behind the Maya priests and kings? Do the hieroglyphs reveal an otherworldly truth to their origin, as the Maya themselves maintain? Ancient astronaut theorists believe the answer is yes. What we have to think about today is where did the origin of the priesthood come from? And the origin is nothing else but that they, the initial cabal of priests, they were all in contact with extraterrestrials. And that's why they were revered. Our ancestors thought they were gods because they didn't understand the nuts and bolts aspects behind those visits. But when it all comes down to it, it was all a huge misunderstanding and a way to keep the common people in place.